time now for a look at your health. And tonight we're talking about sweating and body odor because it is normal, but do you know how much is too much? Because it can be abnormal and unhealthy. Here to talk about more of the signs and the treatments for sweating disorders and a little known cause of body odor is dermatologist William Groth. Thank you for being here. Thank you. This is kind of an unpleasant subject, but it's yeah, a also bit. a little bit of a warning sign, too, that something could be seriously wrong. So let's start with the basics. It seems that women, we like to say we glow because we sweat less than men. Why is that? Well, they don't have the same number of glands in the mm -hmm. underarms and on the feet and on the hands that men do. So simply more glands produce more sweat. So what about um, body odor? What, what's that from? Well, what happens basically is when you sweat, uh, it's odorless, but there's actually bacteria in the skin that will feed on that. And the byproducts of them feeding and uh, digesting your sweat causes this bad smell, basically. Okay, then how much is too much on both ends? First with sweat, how much is too much? When do you know well, that? Well, I guess if it becomes socially embarrassing or it affects you at your workplace, then it's too much. And what about for body odor? Same story? Same story. If uh, people are starting to tell you that there's a problem or they're avoiding you, you know, then you know you have a problem. All right, so let's take a look at when we should see a doctor. Can you tell us about these uh, issues? Sure. Well, the first thing, if, particularly if you're an adult and you notice that there's a sudden increase in sweating mm -hmm. or a change in body odor, that's certainly a warning sign that something internally could be changing. Uh, things like liver disease, kidney disease, changes in your thyroid gland, all these things can cause a change in sweating or odor. I know as a woman that you get asked at your yearly exams all the time, do you have night sweats? And that's right. related to hormones, right? Absolutely. Or other things. And too. a lot of women will note when it's uh, near their period or if they're approaching menopause, there'll be a change in both sweating and uh, the odor that comes about when they do sweat. And what's the change in body odor in terms of a red flag? What could that possibly mean? Well, same kind of things, internal disease, particularly with the liver, kidneys, really? thyroid again. But um, oftentimes, most of the time, uh, body odor is just a normal function of the bacteria metabolizing and eating, basically, your perspiration. But there's a lot of ways we can treat it, so that's I the good I was just going to say, uh, that is totally disgusting, but let's talk right. about <laughs> Take a bath, like okay. your mother said. How can we treat it with some of the products that you brought here? Well, it's always good. You want to find a good antiperspirant that's got 20% or higher aluminum particles in it. These mm -hmm. particles actually plug up the sweat glands and shut down sweating, and therefore, there's, there'll be no odor. Now. Some of the more high-tech things we can do, um, actually with Botox and Dysport, we can inject this into the area, like say the underarm. Mm -hmm. It's completely painless. It's actually amazing. I don't know if you can get a shot of this, but look how tiny this needle is. Similar to acupuncture, it looks like. Yeah, tiny, tiny, no pain, and it shuts down sweating and odor, com odor completely. I have women who come into our practice and just for the fact that they can get these injections and they have absolutely no odor, they don't even need to use deodorant. It's actually pretty amazing. Wow, that's interesting. Well, thank you so much for joining us, William thank you. Brock. It's great we being appreciate here. it. It's a thank topic I, I didn't know a whole lot about, and I am now seriously educated. Lauren. Excellent. <laughs> I'd like to be reincarnated as sweat-eating bacteria. No thanks. <laughs>